Hello students, good time to all. I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan. Welcome to your YouTube channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the application of OPAM that is zero crossing detector. Let's begin. What is a zero crossing detector? A zero crossing detector is a circuit in which the output changes when the input voltage crosses zero volt. Therefore, its name as zero crossing detector. It detects how the input voltage to that of output output voltage changes when it cross the zero volt. A zero crossing detector is a voltage comparator in which one input is grounded. Voltage comparator is that circuit in which we compare uh, two voltages, taking one of the voltage as reference voltage and we compare another voltage to that of reference voltage. And that uh, voltage comparator we can made by taking an op-amp. So here we discuss how zero crossing detector circuit is created by taking an op-amp. To create that one, we prefer an example of an inverting zero crossing detector. Inverting zero crossing detector. As you know, the op pump has two terminal. One is inverting, another one is non-inverting. If we provide uh, the signal across that of inverting terminal, then that uh, circuit uh, is used to detect uh, zero crossing. Is called inverting zero crossing detector. If we provide uh, the signal across that of non-inverting terminal of that op amp then it is called non-inverting zero crossing detector in that of uh, example purpose we prefer inverting zero crossing detector how we create an inverting zero crossing detector by taking an op amp let we take an op amp It has two terminal positive terminal which is non inverting, negative terminal which is inverting. It has the potential let V1, that one has the potential let V2 at output we obtain V output to power supply. plus Vs minus Vs to creating an inverting zero crossing detector that uh, non inverting terminal is to be grounded and that potential is equal to zero volt and we provide signal across that of inverting terminal let that signal be in as we know in case of an open circuit that op pump has high open circuit voltage gain. Therefore, the expression for output voltage is output voltage is equal to open circuit voltage gain into 
the potential difference across the terminals potential difference across the two terminals here the output voltage v output is equal to open circuit voltage gain a into potential difference across that of two terminals let v of d or v o is equal to open circuit voltage gain potential difference that is v 1 minus v 2 for inverting zero crossing detector we take zero volt to that of non inverting terminal for inverting zero crossing detector v1 to be zero therefore at output voltage we obtain minus a v2 by analyzing that expression we can say if uh, v2 sorry if v input that is the input signal that is the input signal across that of v2 end if v input is uh, greater than 0 then at output then at output what we obtain v in greater than 0 so at output we have negative saturation voltage minus v s similarly if uh, v input is less than 0 then at output that is positive saturation voltage plus v s it can be easily shown by using the graphical view these two we can show by using the graph that is the V input sine wave so what obtained at output for that of input sine wave look here when it is uh, positive half cycle that is greater than 0 v in is greater than 0 then an output that is minus of v s let we take that one as plus v s this one as minus v s for positive it is minus v s then it is negative less than 0 plus v s plus v s positive minus v s negative plus v s 
that type of graph we obtain in case of an inverting zero crossing detector we provide signal across that of inverting terminal of that of op amp mathematically we show if input is greater than 0 then output we obtain negative saturation voltage if input is less than 0 then at output we obtain positive saturation voltage and that can be easily understood by taking that uh, graph this is the graph this is the input signal then at output we obtain that type of signal if uh, it is uh, non inverting zero crossing detector then what happened that graph totally changed for positive half cycle it will be plus V s for negative half cycle it will be minus V s in this way with the help of that particular video lecture we understand the idea of zero crossing detector what is zero crossing detector and how we create a zero crossing detector by using an op amp an example of zero crossing detector that is inverting zero crossing detector created by using an op amp it's ma mathematically we show how input signal is changed to that of output signal in case of inverting zero crossing detector so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you